Yo, what up, guys? So I'm not one of those YouTubers who spends like 30 minutes talking about their day before actually getting into the substance of the video, but today I kind of wanted to provide you guys with a quick little update as to what's been going on with me. So right now for this video, I am recording inside of a closet, and I know the comments are just going to be flooded with jokes like, no, we support you for who you are. Yeah, shut up. I'm not here because I want to be here. I'm here because it's the only quiet spot that I can record in right now. So yeah, you don't actually have to run down to the comments and be like, Achito, please come out of the closet, bro. We support you for who you are and no matter what. Listen, dude, I don't want to be in this closet right now. Actually, funny story, before I even decided to record in here, I actually scoped out this location. I scoped out this closet and there was a live literal gecko running around this closet, like on the floor. He's probably still in here, to be honest. I didn't even get him out. So yeah, I'm recording in a gecko closet, dude. This is it. A Cheeto 2021 recording inside of a gecko's natural habitat, dude. Anyways, so Dream got hacked. Uh, definitely a lot more interesting than what I got going on right now, so I definitely think it's worth talking about. Now, this is unlike what I normally talk about, right? Because I'll normally talk about, yo, Dream got called racist by some moron on TikTok, right? This is actually a real thing that could have actually been very detrimental to Dream's career. But really quickly, before we get into talking about that, if you guys could take the five seconds that it would take to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you are new here, I don't I don't know if you paid attention for the first 30 seconds, but right now, the setup isn't ideal, and at this point, I'm practically a homeless guy rattling an empty cup for coins. So, yeah, a, a like on this video would really help me out. So, Dream. Okay. Where we left off with Dream, I don't even remember, but I know that he now dabbles in music. Uh, I know that he's now a musical composer and an author and a singer. I do know that he dropped that banger road trip. 20 hours in an old van up the east coast through the cold wind drove 20 hours by the ocean what a road trip i mean the song was fire i expected a crapper and i got a slapper i mean it it was heat i won't even lie okay as somebody who has been critical of dream in the past the song was a banger. Now, was it an 11 out of 10 Eminem, Tupac, the Notorious B.I.G. Grammy winning performance? No, it really wasn't. Uh, it wasn't at all even close to that, but it was solid. And as you can imagine, when somebody makes something musically solid, they're going to want to make as much money from it as humanly possible, right? So Dream, rightfully so, decided to enjoy capitalism and put his song onto every major music distributor, right? So Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, and all of that has been going as planned. I mean, the song is probably getting views as I'm talking right now, so... That should really speak for itself. Now, one other thing, right, is on YouTube, right, obviously the view count goes up, but on other uh, streaming services like Spotify, what you have is a monthly listener count. So Dream's monthly listener count currently on Spotify is 1.2 million. I probably shouldn't have to be the one to tell you that that's a lot of people, but hey, buddy, that's a lot of people. Now, essentially, Dream's Spotify account, I don't know how this happened, right? I don't use Spotify. Well, I do use Spotify, right? But I don't make music on Spotify. I don't upload music to Spotify. So I don't know how the hell this happened. I don't know how the Spotify upload process works, but Dream's Spotify page, his official page, right? Where you can find Road Trip had another song uploaded to it, okay? And this was not a song that he had released. This is not a song that he had made. This song was called Jeffrey Epstein, and it had been published to Dream's official Spotify account. Now, obviously, Jeffrey Epstein is the name of a person. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how I want to explain this. Let's just go with this. Jeffrey Epstein was a very bad person. I'm not here to explain to you the news or anything, but it's almost a universally agreed upon fact that Jeffrey Epstein was a monster. Um, I'm not, you can look it up. Google is free. You can just type in Jeffrey Epstein and you will be bombarded with articles as to what this guy, you know, what his track record is, what he's done. Now, with all of that in mind, you can imagine why 
a lot of people would be offended if they saw that that was released under Dream's name, okay? I mean, it makes sense. And obviously, this is not something that Dream intended to happen, okay? He didn't make this song, he didn't upload this song, he didn't publish this song. This was all done by somebody who hacked Dream's Spotify account. Now, with that in mind, I wanted to talk about two things. So the first thing is that you have no right being mad at Dream when this happens. You know, I thought this would be fairly obvious, but when your account gets hacked, you are no longer the owner of that account. You have temporarily lost the administrative access to that account that you once had. So anything that is said and done while your account is hacked is not done by you. You know, I mean, I thought this would be so obvious, but apparently not. A lot of people are blaming Dream over something that he has zero control over. And with that logic, right, let me just flip this situation on you for a second. So let's say that you use Twitter, okay? You tweet stuff maybe three times a day. Let's say that I hack your account, okay? Okay, you know what? Let's say somebody else hacks your account, because I would never do that, okay? Your account gets hacked. And somebody who has access to your account tweets out something incredibly offensive. Did you tweet that out? No, you didn't. I mean, I think this is so obvious right now, but I guess it's not, so I have to explain this, but the person who hacks your account is responsible for what happens when your account is hacked, not you. And that's only talking from a personal level. Like, I don't know legally what happens if that happens. Like, I don't know, man. Like, if somebody hacks your account and then, you know, promotes a scam, I don't know if you're responsible for that. I don't know how that works legally, but I'm saying, you know, you and I both know that if somebody were to hack my account and tweet something offensive, who really tweeted that? Not me. Now, the second thing that I wanted to talk about was the fact that Dream is not the one running his Spotify account. Now, this this actually may not be known by a lot of you guys, but obviously when you have 20 million subs and you have all these different platforms that you're present on, like YouTube, Twitter, Spotify, Instagram, all these different social media platforms, it can get very stressful having to work on that all by your own, right? So Dream is not the one managing all of those for himself, okay? And especially with Spotify, that's a whole different ballgame because then you need like a record label and all that sort of technical stuff that, you know, from a Minecraft YouTuber's perspective, might seem a bit complicated. So he's not even the one who's in charge of the Spotify account. So let's say that you wanted to get mad at Dream for his Spotify account getting hacked, which is already ridiculous enough, like I've previously mentioned. Dream would not be the person that you would even want to go after. You would want to go after his manager of the Spotify account. Like, Dream, honest to God, probably, if I had to guess, has zero like, zero control over his Spotify account, I am, I want to say 90% sure that that is automated, or he has somebody do that all for him. If anything, this whole thing is kind of a stupid laughing matter. Uh, I don't think you have any right to be mad at Dream or offended by this. Uh, if anything, let's just laugh about it, because let's be honest, right, Dream is new to music, he started on Minecraft, there's, uh, there's bound to be some slip-ups when you try to do something different like music, and this whole Jeffrey Epstein thing is a perfect example of the slip-up. Anyway, that's about it from me. Uh, before I go, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a tour as to my current setup that I'm working with. Bro, I'm not trying to be dramatic or anything, but currently I am recording inside of a closet, okay? Look, I have to shut the door to the closet. I have to have the lights off because when the lights are on, it makes this atrocious humming sound that is impossible to record with, okay? I'm currently using an AT2020 USB that is literally being put in place by a bunch of blankets holding it in position, okay? I have my laptop on side of a shelf where clothes are supposed to be. My gaming chair is literally a storage unit. This thing literally has like files inside of it, so... This is the current A Cheeto setup in 2021. Okay, this is what we're working with today. So if the video is trash, uh, please feel a little bit sorry and at least understand where I'm coming from because this setup right now is so ghetto right now. I actually cannot believe that I, I'm in this position, okay? Like this sucks.